maybe tomorrow. <laughs> What's so funny? Freak! <laughs> if you just smile. Joker 2019 is a movie that follows the journey of Arthur Fleck, a socially inept clown for hire with a laughing health condition, who dreams of one day becoming a stand up comedian. Throughout the movie, we see him smiling downwards as a result of dealing with all the negativity and bullying of Sir Gotham's city society, revealing how his alter ego, Joker, came to be. Now in this video, we'll be talking about Joker's cinematography and how it manages to paint the beginnings, the fall, and eventually the rise of the Joker. Definitely in this film, each individual that appears in this are portrayed in a certain light. They create the experience and feel of how this character is going to relate to each other. Take for example, Arthur himself. From the beginning of the film, we can see that Arthur is shown with more bleak colours and lighting, showing that he is among the beaten, the torn, and the poor of society. Of course, as the film progresses, we see slightly brighter colours and lights on him. It is towards the end of the film when he transforms into the Joker, is that we see him at his brightest and most vibrant, because of the shift of power and that he is taking center stage. This film uses a lot of the greener tones of Vader is in life. These are the elements that create that dreamy state and is almost mostly done through the lighting the haze that exists in the cinematography of it. The choices in lenses and frame play a big part in this as well. As said by cinematographer Lauren States, one of the reasons we shot large format and those kind of things was simply because we wanted just to draw the audience in psychologically to this character and feel empathy and really feel this, this transition that his, his, he was going through and his descent into chaos and madness. A big play of what makes this comic movie stand apart is that each scene is deliberately shot as though it, it is coming out alive from an actual comic book as well as the usage of the handheld shots during Arthur's most vulnerable states also strengthens and makes us, the audience, feel more intimate with him and more sympathetic as we go along into his descent into madness and justify why he turns into the Joker. The usage of sound in the movie is amazing as they manage to encapsulate what Arthur hears in his head versus us, the audience. However, I would say the usage of sound to indicate his descent into madness or the level of insanity or crime that he will be committing can be best described with this clip. There are riots out there. Two policemen are in critical condition. You're <laughs> laughing. You're laughing. Someone was killed today because of what you did. I know. How about another joke, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of your jokes. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill loner with a it. society that abandons him and treats him like trash. Call the police. I'll James. tell you what you get. Call the police. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> With Joker, editing is kept simple and minimal with most of the work already done practically. But it is with the pacing of each scene that gives goosebumps as the audience is kept guessing what will happen next as well whether it is a reality. Throughout this film, we as the audience are kept guessing whether what is being shown is real or not. And thus, there are many interpretations that can be opened and can be received or perceived by the audience themselves. But it also shows us that everything is being thrown at the protagonist every five minutes and thus making us as the audience sympathize with him and shows the reality and sadness that it can happen to anyone. And that concludes my analysis of Joker's cinematography. Truly a work painted so well 
done to display a character's spiral into insanity. Thank you. I should laugh, but I cry because your love 